What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. It is Sunday, and it's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. Today, A2 Square Studio teases a zero-turn mower for all platforms. Northeast Farm Group have a Case IH self-propelled sprayer. Matt 26 looks to be making some new Case IH headers. Black Eyes Modding tease a three-wheel tuk-tuk. Black Sheep Modding's John Deere Batwing mower is with Giants for testing right now. 40 Modding updates us on the progress of their 4900 Heston Baylor. GeForce Modding shows off a new liquid tank with chains. Dutch Modding talks about their AI traffic. Meyer Family Modding show progress on their latest mods. Shaba's working on a new map. NM Modding updates us on the progress of West Newton Farm. Plus, Alien Jim is baking a big update to No Man's Land. Let's check it out. Starting off today's special edition of Farm Sim News, we have none other than Mr. A2 Square Studio, David himself. Last night at the end of his live stream, he dropped a teaser for something that he's working on, a zero-turn mower. I see a lot of people asking about this mod all the time, not only in his chat, but mine as well. And David has heard your request and will be working on this mod for you. There's still no brand information and it's just a little teaser. There's still lots of unanswered questions, but I think it's safe to say that he will be working on this for all platforms since every mod he's ever released on the Mod Hub has come to all platforms. Get hype about this one because we've never seen anything like this on all platforms. In addition to the mower, we also get a few teaser picks from the Winter Pack update for the TLX 2020 series. Shown here, you get to see the tipper bed option with the melted salt spreader attachment inside, telling me we're going to be able to attach the spreader not only to the truck bed, but this one as well. More options is never a bad thing. How is 82 Square killing it all the time? Northeast Farm Group have dropped a very interesting teaser for a Case IH self-propelled sprayer. As you know, there's a John Deere self-propelled sprayer being made by Custom Modding, but that leaves the Red Fam wanting one too. Well, Northeast Farm Group must have thought the same thing, and by the looks of it, it's already well along in the modding process. Just like David, all Northeast Farm Group's mods have come to all platforms, so I think it's safe to assume the same thing with this. But, unfortunately, there's no other information at this time on this mod. Stay tuned to the channel, because the hype for this mod is about to take off. Matt26 has posted a pic of their Case IH 2144 combine, saying that they're thinking about making a new grain header for their combine mod. Now, for now, it's just a plan, so nothing is set in stone, but they do say that if the idea does go through, they will let us know via their Facebook page. What are some Case IH headers that you think would go good with the 16 and 21 series combines? Black Eyes Modding say, here we go, it's coming. Here we get to see a few dark picks of what looks to be a tuk-tuk or something similar to one. It's a three-wheeled vehicle resembling a cross between a motorcycle, tricycle, and a small truck or utility vehicle. Single front wheel and a rear axle. The one shown is just like that with a tipper bed or something similar to that in the back. There's legit nothing like this in Farm Sim on Mod Hub, so it is welcome with open arms. Like the previous stories, there's no other information, but Black Eyes Modding bring all their mods to all platforms anyway, so I'm sure this isn't going to be any different. Black Sheet Modding introduced a new teaser for their John Deere HX20 Batwing mower today and say that it has already been sent off to Giants for testing for all platforms. Price for this mower is going to start at $15,000, has a horsepower requirement of 50 buff horses, with a max working speed of 22 kilometers per hour or around 13 miles per hour, and has a working width of 6.2 meters. Not bad at all. You can also add light configuration, remove the windrows, and change the wheels. This is just the first of quite a few John Deere trail mowers that are in the works right now. We could see this one on the testing list as early as sometime this next week, but most mods do not pass the first time, so keep that in mind. It could be a few weeks. Nonetheless, it's always awesome to see new mods and different mods coming to the game. 40 Modding are working on the design on the knotters on their Heston 4900 Square Baler. This mod has been in the works for quite a while and keeps getting better and better every time they update us on its progress. My assumption is this mod will be the most detailed baler that we have ever seen in Farming Simulator 19 once it's released. Platform information is unknown at this time, and at least for 40 modding, it is tough to speculate on that as well. GeForce Modding's taking a break from placeables and is showing off their 6,000 liter portable liquid storage tank today. He's been working on this one for quite a while and has the poly count down to a reasonable amount for console consideration. It's a liquid tank that holds everything except for slurry and digestate, so things like herbicide, liquid fertilizer, etc., things like that. It can be picked up with a front loader or any front loader attachment, and it is a manure system ready mod as well, meaning that you can hook up hoses to it if you're on PC. This also has an animation lid and is available in many colors. 
They will be able to be strapped down to a trailer as well or the back of a truck, anything with tension belts, you can carry this bad boy around. Dutch Mining drops a quick update on their AI vehicles for traffic today. They say that they are pending testing with Giants still at this time. And in addition, they're working on their timber truck and say that this one may take longer than most of their other AI vehicles just simply because of how detailed it is. So maybe some time before we see it. Meyer Family Modding update us on the current progress saying that the MFM Low Boy is coming along nicely with XML work still to be worked on. They still need to fix a few things in Giants Editor and Blender as well. It'd say that they're still a ways away from being done with this mod. Looking forward to breaking this one. <laughs> they also update us on their cab over Bulldog Semi Truck. This is still a work in progress as well, but they've got some new ideas for this project. A few of the ideas are a cab over box truck, which I'm sure will be extremely popular, a cab over flatbed, exhaust pipe options, and rim options as well. The rest of their ideas, for now anyway, have yet to be announced or teased. The plan is to get both of these mods on all platforms once released. Shaba looks to be working on a new map at Schamburg Valley. They say the PDA is about 60% complete, and by the looks of it, it's not going to be a huge map unless these fields are just absolutely massive and totally out of scale. But that's not a bad thing. I found that I can get into smaller maps much easier than larger ones, but that's just me. What about you guys? Either way, a new map is on the horizon. NM Modding says that the update for West Newton Farm failed testing last week on a lot of issues that were never an issue to begin with on the original release of the map. He says these issues have been fixed and the map has been resubmitted for testing. If all goes to plan, we could see this map as early as this week. And lastly today, Alien Jim breaks his two-month silence with a big update for No Man's Land coming soon. Version 1.3 will add 31 new placeable items, 21 placeable trees, four more foliage types to be landscape painted, a new log cabin, and old wood farmhouse to decorations, reverse the direction of the motorway traffic, and adjusted the greenhouse water sound volume. In addition to that, Alien Jim says that the AJ Tech placeable trees should not cause any other placeables or cell points to disappear when removed from the map. If all goes to plan, this update could be available within a few weeks for all platforms, and from the looks of it, there will be no new game save required, which is awesome. It's hard to make a great map even better, but that's just what Alien Jim and Farmer Manu do. That's just, they're the best. Oh man. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those other projects that you're interested in, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, enjoy the Go Ham Fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily or surprise Farm Sim News videos or any daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! People be saying, DJ, farm some news on a Sunday? Ah, yeah, there was just too much to talk about. We had to do it.